I am so excited to bring you this workout today here on YouTube. You're getting a longer workout than I usually post here, and it's gonna be super fun and creative. I wanna show you what workouts are like over in my unlimited program, so I'm giving you a free sneak peek today. So if you're interested in full-length workouts with lots of creativity, head on over and check out my unlimited program. Link is below. Enjoy the workout. We are doing a 25 minute full body workout today and we're breaking it into pieces. We're gonna start with six minutes of legs and then arms, then abs, and then six minutes of stretching at the end for a full body 25 minute workout you're gonna love. So we're gonna start on our backs. So have your feet flat and have them hip distance apart. And this workout's great for any level. I'll just give you modifications as we need and as we go along. Take an inhale and then exhale. You're just gonna curl your tailbone and lift it just a couple inches and then roll it back down. So we're gonna do a little warm up here as we get into our leg portion of the workout. So the exhale curls your tailbone and the inhale is gonna bring it down. And I just give myself a little arch when I go down. So it's like I'm giving my spine a little massage here, loosening up my pelvis. Relax your toes, relax your neck. Okay, and then when you're ready on your next exhale, you're gonna take it all the way up to a bridge. Inhale at the top, and then exhale to roll back down. So think about articulating through your spine. Again, this is a great warm up as we head into our workout, but we're also already getting into our leg portion here. You can probably feel that. You should be feeling your glutes waking up and your hamstrings waking up. Roll up, stay here. Now I want you to lower down just halfway and then lift back up. So it's an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And so any of these, I want you to just do a smaller motion if you need to. You can just keep doing the bridging here. So do the previous move if you don't wanna to progress to the next move. But don't ever, ever feel defeated. Don't ever feel like you have to drop out, right? You can always take a rest and come back in. These are all things we're working towards. <laughs> okay, last one, come up and then roll yourself back down. And yes, that was our warm up. We have more coming. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, curl. Roll yourself back up. So either do the exact same thing you just did or single leg, which means right leg comes up, straightens, and we're going to lower down halfway. Lift, lower, lift. Four. Try to keep the hips level. Two. One. Bend, lower. Other side, lower, lift, four, nice, three, press through the right heel, two, one, bend, lower, and roll yourself back down. Hug the right knee in, left leg reaches out nice and long. Then I'm going to hold behind my right leg, I'm going to reach it up and then bend. So just a little lengthening behind that leg. Last one, reach, stay here. Hands come down, cross the legs slightly to the left, lower around to the right and up. So single leg circles, very traditional Pilates move. So to change this, if you need to, you can bend your right knee, you can do really small circles, okay? The goal is to try to find the motion and then switch directions. So I'm exhaling down and I'm inhaling up. See if you can relax your hands too. Try not to grip onto your mat. <laughs> I know that's easier said than done. Nice job, hug the knee in and then reach it out. We have another side, so pull that left leg in, hold behind the leg, reach it up and in. Last one, hands down, good. Cross it, 
down and up. So you're trying as much as possible to keep the rest of your body nice and still. Switch directions. So try not to flop all over the mat here. And if you are, that's okay. Just do smaller circles, okay? Again, no big deal. Just do a smaller circle until your body is used to controlling this motion. Nice job, hug your knee in. And we're gonna roll onto our left side. So your option is to be flat here, laying on your side, or you can come up into this high elbow. Both legs are straight. My bottom foot is at the top corner of my mat. My top leg is reaching out, toes pointed. You're gonna lift it up and down. <sighs> nice job. So it's not a very big motion, especially you're in a high elbow. That makes it just a little bit harder. And then again, trying to control it so the rest of your body doesn't sink. <sighs> Three, two, one. Now stay here and draw little circles in the air. Four, three, two, one. Reverse. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bend. Come up. I always love a little stretch here. It's my little gift to myself before I switch sides. So down to the right. You know where we're going. So flat or high elbow. Leg is reaching out. Toes pointed. Lift and lower. Try to keep those hips stacked. Try not to sink into the shoulder. I know there's like 10 things to think about at once. I kind of just keep going through the system for myself. I'm like, okay, am I stacked? Is my shoulder down? Toes pointed. And then I do it again. And if you lose something again, it's okay. You come back to it. Eventually it starts to become more habit. I promise. Okay, pause here at hip height, little circles. Three, two, one, reverse, four, three, two, one. Nice job, bend and come up. And then we're gonna swing around and come onto all fours. Your hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And then the, one of the keys to not having wrist pain here is to make your arms work. So you've got to bend your elbows a little bit and then your elbows point towards your thighs, okay? So see, I don't know if you can see that, but my elbows are a teeny bit bent and then I press away from my hands. Now my triceps are working. That's gonna help your wrists a lot. So staying in this position, I want you to bring the left arm in front of you and little pulses here, lift it up, up. <sighs> nice job. So we're starting to work into our arms, backs of the shoulders, four, three, two, one. Sweep it up and turn and look at your hand. And then bring it forward and back down. Other side, right arm forward and little pulses. So we've got the hand that's on the ground. That arm is working quite a bit, especially if you have that little elbow bend like we talked about. And then we've got the back of that lifted arm working. So into the shoulder blades and the posterior deltoid. And this is a great example of how you can get such a good workout and work your muscles without lifting weights. You guys know I love weights, but I also like the idea of working a little differently sometimes. And Pilates is such a great way to show you that you can work these muscles without anything but you and your body and your mat. And now lift that right arm up. Turn and look, and then bring it back down. Nice job, okay. Keep your knees where they are, but separate your hands a little wider. So my hands are at the outside edges of my mat, and I'm gonna bend my elbows, bringing my chest down, and then press up. So this is level one push-up right here. Isn't that awesome? This is a push-up, okay? And this might be the perfect place for you to start. This is the form I did all through my pregnancies. This is what I did when I was recovering from all my surgeries. There's a lot of work to be had here. Okay, so I love this position. If you are ready for a little more, 
Keep your knees down, but bring them together and bring them back. So now you're in this plank position and down and up. Okay, so you can either stay here or you can finish it out by coming up onto your toes, nice and tall on your toes, down and up. Last two, I've had you do plenty. <laughs> Last one, nice job. Knees down, sit yourself back. <sighs> okay, we are gonna come onto our right side and onto your elbow. So still with arms here. The beautiful thing about Pilates is you're gonna get lots of body parts at once. So we're working arm and we're also working into our abs already. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. So <laughs> I have my top foot in front of my bottom foot but my hips are stacked. I'm gonna lift up to a side plank and back down, all right? So for me, I feel my arm a lot here because it's tired already from what we just did. So I'm really focusing on a lot of stabilization through that right shoulder and arm. Okay, take a rest. I'm gonna show you option two. Option one is to do a few more of those. Option two, I'm gonna come up onto my hand. I'm bending my top knee and I'm gonna come all the way up and over into a side arch position and then come back down. So your choice, okay? I want four more. So whatever option is best to you. And sometimes the best option is to take a rest and grab a drink of water. <laughs> Last one. Nice job, come down. We'll switch to the other side, that was really good. I'll be honest, when I am traveling and I need kind of a quick arm workout, the, this side plank series is one of the first ones I go to. It's, a, it's efficient and it's tough. <laughs> Bring your top leg in front of the bottom one and really pull your toes back. If you activate your feet and your legs, it makes your side planks a lot easier, okay? It's a little tip for you. Okay, exhale, up. Nice job. So now you know if you wanna try the other version, right? You know what's coming. So, four more, wherever you choose to go. And if you are going on a long arm, your hand should be out away from your shoulder so that once you're up here, your hand is under your shoulder, okay? So make sure you're setting yourself up for success by starting in the right position. Nice, last one. And then back down. Nice job. Bring your legs in front of you. And I'm gonna have mine about mat distance apart, okay? Hands are gonna be in front. So my palms are facing down. And I want you to inhale your arms up. Exhale, arms down. When your arms come down, feel like you're pressing your hands through water. Okay, on this next one, right arm stays where it is. Left arm comes up, reach it back, turn and look, and then up, forward, right arm. <sighs> nice job. Reach up, 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 and open, and then up to come back. So this is work, we're continuing the arms, but we're getting some really kind of juicy thoracic spine mobility here too and we're continuing to get ready for our abdominal work. Okay, so arms stay in front. Zip your legs together. Inhale, exhale, curl your tailbone. We're gonna roll all the way down. If you know you need a towel roll for rolling back up, go ahead and grab it. And what that means is if you have a hard time coming up here, you can grab a towel, roll it up, skinny and long, and place it across your low back. 
and it will help a lot actually to come up and back down. And then exhale, back up. So on this one, roll down halfway. Stay here, shoulder blades drop down and back. Right leg, point the toes, lift, lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, come back up over your legs, restack. Exhale, roll down halfway again. Now we're gonna bring the left arm up and turn and look at it and then bring it back. Does this look familiar, right? We just did this, inhale up, back, up, forward. So if this is too much, I want your hands on your chest and you're just turning side to side. Okay, and that's a great option. You'll get obliques here too. So if this bothers your shoulders or it's not a happy place today, then just do the version I just showed you. Okay, one more each side. Inhale, up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, last one. Inhale, pause. Exhale, curl, roll down, and right when you get to your shoulder blades, pull that right knee in. Left leg is lifted, hovering, switch legs, switch. So I like both hands on the top of my knee because I really like to give a good squeeze when I come in, but you can be right here as well, okay? Kind of tabletop if that's better. You can also bring your head down all the way. Really reach the opposite leg. Okay, listen up, pull the right leg in, stay here, crunch up higher, hands behind your head, twist towards that knee, center, switch, center. So I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades off the mat. You probably never wanted six minutes to go so fast in your life as this ab series. Four, three, two, one, come to center and roll down. Nice job. Okay, center yourself on your mat if you need to. And then bring your legs together and then let your knees fall apart, okay? So my feet have kind of opened up, my knees have opened up. I'm gonna bring my hands to the center and my palms are touching. Inhale, exhale, tuck your chin, crunch up and then come back down. <sighs> nice job. So nice big exhale when you come up. Really try to get rid of all of your air. <sighs> all right, come down, take a break. Arms to your sides. Glue the legs together and you're gonna bring them up to tabletop, okay? Now you're gonna open up again into that diamond position. My toes are touching, my heels are touching, my knees are apart. You're gonna lower your legs down and then lift. Maybe your feet touch, but maybe they don't. I actually just shocked myself that my feet touched. I didn't think I was gonna be able to today. Okay, so that's what's great. Sometimes you surprise yourself one way or the other, and that's okay because you just work with what your body gives you on that day. You push a little outside your comfort zone to see what happens, right? Or maybe it's a day that you know you need to stay within your comfort zone, but either way, you're moving, you're learning, you're being curious, you're hopefully having some fun, you're breathing. <sighs> okay, so what we're gonna do is put all that together. Arms come up. I'm gonna exhale, crunch up. Now I'm gonna stay here. Lower the legs, lift the legs, roll back down. So again, it's choose your own adventure. Do the piece that's right for you. Exhale. Legs lower, legs lift, inhale down. Okay. 
nice inner thigh work here too. And lower, lift, roll back down. Nice job. Hug the knees in. Tuck your chin. And we're going to start to roll forward and back until we come all the way up. And we're going to come onto all fours again. Because what's an abdominal series without a little plank, right? So you can be right here if you need to and do what I'm about to show you on all fours. Otherwise, head out to a plank with me, nice and bright, lifted up on your toes. Elbows again are slightly bent. You're gonna pull the right leg in, back out, left leg in and out. You're trying to maintain your plank position. Now, maybe we can add a twist. When you pull the right knee in, bring it towards your left elbow, back out and then opposite, okay? So I'm twisting my body, but I'm not lowering my hips. You got it. Four, three, two, one, nice job. Take it up and back and walk your feet out. Nice, press your feet down. Take a couple deep breaths. <sighs> Lift up onto your toes, knees come down, knees wide, and sit back and down. <sighs> Nice, and then walk your hands over to the left, letting that right hand cross over the left hand for a stretch along your right side. And then take it the opposite way. And then back to center. And then re-stack your spine, take your time. And let's come back to sitting with the legs straight out. Legs are mat distance apart. Sit up nice and tall, bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Good, back to center. Bring your legs together, arms in front, inhale. Exhale, curl, we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs again. And as you get there, pull the right knee in. Keep your left hand on the knee and bring the leg to the left as you reach to the right and look to the right. And then back to center, bend the left knee so that you capture that right ankle and find your figure four stretch. So you can stay right here with the left foot down. You can bring the legs in. A nice stretch for that right piriformis all through that right buttock, maybe into the right outer hip. And then let's switch legs. So you're gonna reach the right leg out and hug that left knee in. Give it a good squeeze. And then keep your right hand on the knee to bring it to the right as you reach to the left and look to the left. And then bring it back up. Find your figure four stretch, which means the left ankle is on that right thigh. Nice, 
nice. And you can release that. Hug both knees in. And then we're going to come back up to sitting one more time. So again, you can either find yourself in a little ball rolling up or you can just roll to the side and sit all the way up and bring your legs out in front. You're gonna sweep and inhale your arms out to the side, lift them up, and then exhale, reach forward. And then hands drag along your mat as you restack again, inhale, exhale. Feeling a little deeper each time. Stay here, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. Slowly restack. And nice job. Thank you so much for joining me on that awesome full body workout. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment and subscribe to be notified when I have new videos that come out. You can find more, including my exclusive unlimited community with full length workouts, a workout calendar, recipes, and more over at jessicavalantpilates.com. Join our unlimited program. I would love to see you there.